From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus checkout date of 2022. Today, we'll go over the breaking news from the shores of Santa Monica, California to the shores of the Black Sea. We have a lot of breaking news as the mortgage industry is really imploding. This is signaling a big push for Build Back Better. Go over why the mortgage numbers are getting to the worst place they've been in nearly a decade. While we'll the latest details on that and what that signals for Build Back Better across the board. Meantime, the new jobs numbers released today and it also showed us the growth rate for the US economy. Also, new support for Build Back Better to get passed. Later in this video, we'll be turning to seven stimulus, that is student loan debt forgiveness, going to a conclusion potentially by May 2nd. We're going to see whether that student loan debt is forgiven. We have a lot of breaking news, news today about those interest rates, about stagflation, and about your SS300. To raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, you're a senior on retirement benefits, veterans benefits, and more. And there's new economic data today with the 10-year bond, treasury bond surging. And the yield curve inversion heating up. Is that yield curve inversion signaling that we're going to recession? All the latest details on that today. It's a big debate and I have the analysis across the board. But the big exciting news is that Build a Back Better has an add-on and it's law. And that add-on is a huge pot of checks. How much? $80,000. In this recording, I'm going to go over lots of checks for you to get that have now become a law. Build Back Better has an ancillary piece of legislation which became law four weeks ago. This Friday will be five weeks ago, $80,000 checks. For my homeowners, it's huge and I'm going to show you how to get those $80,000 of checks in your hand. Can you smell the money? I can smell it. It smells like um, dollar bills. Then we're going to go over the MSCs, a third stimulus which have landed as well. Everyone from beneficiaries to retirees can get this. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars MSC checks from third stimulus. Then we have a lot of breaking details about the other bodies of legislations from third, fourth, fifth, sixth. A lot of major breaking news today about six as well. As the European Alliance is now worried about getting off of those Russian products, well, the latest details on that all in a big broadcast today and a preview of tonight's evening's LA to prime time. Plus, a special minute message of the final minutes of this video. Stay to the very end. It could be more checks. It's afternoons, and it starts right now. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. And here we go. It was a big night overnight on LA. If you missed it, we tested out a new show and it was a blockbuster. We'll go over the latest details on that. But first, we're going to go over all the incredible checks in today's recording. Let's get a preview of today's recording. In this recording, we're going to go over those $80,000 checks from Force Stimulus, which have now landed. Have you gotten it? I'm going to get, the, get that pen paper ready. I'm going to show you how to get those $80,000 of checks. MSC checks have also landed. Third Stimulus, have you gotten those as well? I'm going to go over how you can get them in this recording. It's huge. Then we're going to go back to Build Back Better Act, major breaking economic data that came in today. This is why you tune into this channel, the number one most watched financial news channel in prime time with Evenings LA. And we have a preview of tonight's show in this recording. Build Back Better Act has a lot of major data that came in today, jobs numbers and also mortgage numbers. Housing industry, oh boy, it's all heating up today's recording. Then we'll be turning to the SS300 to raise your benefits up, an additional $300 more per month. But we have new breaking data about that as well, the 10-year bond, what it did today, and the yield curve inversion. Are we heading to recession? That R word. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really, really, really a big R word. <laughs> then we're going to go to rent and that big money for third stimulus. We have a lot of breaking developments on the front for six stimulus. This is coming in April, and guess what? It's getting off the tracks today. Oh, boy. Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz is not happy with the German dependency on that Russian products. So we thought we were getting they were getting off those Russian products right away. Uh, not in so quickly. So there's new economic concern about that, and they're worrying about another R-word. 
uh, what's the same one? Recession. Uh, the latest comments about that six stimulus. This is the latest stimulus package that would heat up in April for you across the board. This is the biggest stimulus package we've had of a generation. Then we have the latest details about what's happening with Putin and, and his impact on your money at home. Boy, we got a big broadcast today. I'm excited you're here. And of course, it's a preview of tonight's Evening Delay broadcast in prime time. Congratulations to all our wonderful new members. If you're not a member, go to the front of the chat and become a member right today. Let's go over that Build Back Better Act. The four stimulus recon, not a law yet, but that other piece of Build Back, that other piece of four stimulus is law. I'm going to go to that in just a second. Let's first go over the latest details on the Build Back Better Act. And then we're going to go over the checks. There's a lot of breaking news today on the Build Back Better Act. Lots of checks in there. First, let's go over the actual checks. Then let's go over the breaking news across the board. You want to know the checks. So let's look at those first. And then we'll go over the breaking news about Build Back. Those checks, fifteen dollars to $80,000 in the Build Back Better Act. There's three clusters of three add-ons of checks. First cluster, a lot of money. Hazard pay for my essential workers, $4,000 of checks for elders, $4,000 of checks for young children, $3,600 additional checks for young children. Home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, wow, those could be great, five dollars to $10,000. They got nutrition checks in there, car grant checks, $12,500 for an electric vehicle, college student checks, $550 checks for the Pell Grant students, and more. In that first add-on, a check's $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Whoa, that is great news. From Maxine Waters, she got it in there. In that second of three clusters of checks in the Build Back Better, let's see what's in there as well. Pay leave, four to $6,000 a year, home repairs to weatherize your home. And how do you get these checks? You tune into Evening Delight in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Air Time. We're going to have that in a brand new breaking news one-hour special report tonight. I don't want to miss you, so make sure you tune into that recording. I'll be looking for you. In that second cluster of checks, two, second add-on of checks, $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. In that third cluster of checks, internet checks free, farmers checks free. Independent contractors, checks free. And then seniors getting a lot of checks. Dental, vision, hearing, and more. Well, let's look at those checks. Yes, hearing, dental, vision, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, the Medicaid gap fix, and more, which is part of the course when we're talking about adding checks to the recon of the Build Back Better Act. The other checks that they vow they would add in there are fourth stimulus IRS MSC checks. Single individuals, 75000 less, you get it. Married couple, 150000 less, you get it. Double it. Family four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Veterans Benefits, or Adult Dependents, you get it as well. So says the legislators to the viewers of this channel. $2,000 a month, first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. That, my friends, is the Build Back a Better Act, not a law, currently in the, the Senate. And later in this video, I'm going to show you the two other items, but let's get a preview of them right now. Build Back Better Act, for Simmons Recon, not law, but the president now five weeks ago this Friday, getting an add-on law. He did it himself during the executive branch last two, four Fridays ago. And this is fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks. It's a law. The checks have gone out. Have you got to them? If you haven't, stay with me. It's a four stimulus add-on, and it's fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's called the homeowner's grant. Then, coming up also in the second half of this video, is the third stimulus step back. You already got a $14 stimulus check, but did you know that MSC checks have now gone out as well? Yes. Third stimulus checks have now gone out as well from that third stimulus. And the average viewer of this channel is not getting the six months of checks like Build Back Better proposes. They're getting, on average, 12 months of checks at $2,000 a pop. Wow. And that includes people who are in every single state and includes everyone, including my beneficiary. It's just coming up later in this video. Stay with me. In the meantime, become a member. Let's go over the breaking news right now about Build Back Better. We have a lot of it today, folks. First, the jobs numbers came in. The jobs numbers said that there were 455,000 jobs added in the month of March. Economists were looking for 450, so it was a beat. Good. We beat the number. How about the GDP number? How large the economy is growing? Gross national product. How large the economy is growing? It was a miss. Just a slight miss. They were looking for 7% for fourth quarter 2021. That's the last quarter of last year. It was a miss. 6.9% compared to 7.7% is the estimate. Uh, the number that we're watching for is tomorrow. That is the big money number that comes in later this week. And that number will be released for the non-payroll reports, 
which is expecting uh, a 490 number. We'll see where it comes in. I believe it's coming out tomorrow. So I'll have that number for you across the board. What does this mean for Build Back Better? It means that the economy is not growing as Wall Street anticipates. So if the economy is not growing, we need some more support. And that's why we need a Build Back Better for some recon. Another data came in today. This is a number that I really want you to pay attention to. I don't care if you rent or you own, but this is a number you want to watch. I've been reporting for over two weeks that I believe that the housing market is already in stagflation, which means that it costs you more to repair the home or build the home than how much you're getting to sell it, and that the growth is stagnating the, the cost. And the numbers today signals that the housing market may already be in recession. Now, let's go over the numbers first. The mortgage finance refinance number plunged by 60%, uh, and that number was ha had hit the is now at the highest level since 2018. So the 30-year fixed mortgage is now signaling that uh, for another week, the mortgage demand, if you want to buy a home, the mortgage demand is dropping by 60%. That's astronomical. As mortgages are at the highest rate since 2018, mortgage rates have dropped to their highest level in three years because of restricted monetary policies from the Federal Reserve, says Michael Fratinoni. Then the refinance share showed that they're dropping astronomically. Kelly Theory McMahon from Compass in Dallas says, we have more cash buyers on hand. I don't buy her analysis. What I buy is the number that came out yesterday. You're watching a brand new broadcast today for March 30th, 2022. But what was the data uh, a few days ago, actually, on the 27th? The data on the 27th showed that the new housing starts, people buying houses, was down for the fourth consecutive month to date, down 4.1% for the month of February compared to January. In my opinion, housing is already heading into recession. Housing markets are heading into recession. And that it's heading into recession, that's why you need to build back better. Why? Because there's a lot of provisions in there that help homeowners, like the purchase of the first home, $25,000 for maxing waters, the home repairs. And if you're a renter, same situation. You need assistance because renters are impacted by the housing market as well. Senator Jan, John Man John, Joe Manchin, in a uh, luncheon over the weekend, said that he's willing to get this Build Back Better Act done. Those comments first detail on this channel just a few days ago was then validated by by his um, chief of staff, by his communication director, named and Sam Runyon, who says Senator Manchin is willing to negotiate on this and move the country forward. Great news across the board. So translation is that Build Back Better Act, the bill, still in the Senate, I think it's going to get done because the situation on the on the housing industry getting worse and the situation on the labor market not improving and Manchin says he needs willing to negotiate. But don't wait for it to become law because later in this video, I'm going to get you fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's coming up in just a second. Continuing resolution, CR, passed three weeks ago, has county stimulus in there, and that continuing resolution is to fund the federal government through the month of September. The president is saying he's coming back with another CR for COVID. Hasn't done it yet. He debuted earlier this week another CR on March 28th that'll have $31 billion for spending, but mostly for the military. So I'm expecting to hear more updates on that. If you want that county stimulus, reach out to your local counties for that CR four weeks ago. Here we go. Breaking details on that SS300. If you're on benefits, Social Security retirement benefits, veterans benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security railroad benefits, your benefits are tied to COLA. COLA is generally flat, but it came at 5.9% last year. But they want to swamp that COLA out to inflation. Who does? The President of the United States, when he ran for president, and in his platform for as president at JoeBiden.com. You want to swamp that cola, swamp out that cola for inflation right now because it's tracking at its highest price point of a generation, eight percent in the month of December, eight percent in the month of January, as I predicted correctly all last year. What's the issue? The issue is another guy. That other guy is is uh, Jay Powell. He's head of the Federal Reserve. His job is to reduce inflation, and he reduces inflation by raising interest rates. You don't want him to raise the interest rates too aggressively before Joe makes that swap, because if you lock in that 8% right today, your benefits will go up about $200 a month right now. And if inflation tracked at 4% later this year, that'd be another $100. Not just this month, not just this year, a lifetime, SS300. So what's the part of the equation? Well, Jay Powell has several meetings, a meeting every month, every month for the rest of this year, called the FOMC meeting. And he gave his guidance back in February that the meetings would have a quarter basis point increase, 25 basis points. And consecutively, it would be 175 over the next, 
initially you said five meetings, now it's six meetings. We're fine with that. That's a soft landing, reducing inflation slowly. But then he had that FOMC meeting this month and said, yeah, we're staying there. And the people underneath him, the governors, the Fed governors said that was too weak. You need to be more aggressive in April, just a few weeks coming up from now. So Jay Powell, in a series of new interviews, said, I may have to be more aggressive. Ouch. You don't want him to be more aggressive until Joe Biden makes that swap from coal and inflation. I think we're fine through now, March, early April, late April. But after that, it becomes a little problematic. Let me give you the breaking details on this today. And this is the data that I'm looking at, the data that you should be looking at, and the data that Jay Powell is looking at. The 10-year treasury, treasury bond, if it goes higher, that means that inflation may actually uh, may actually be more problematic, may actually be a bigger problem. The 10-year Treasury bond was higher Wednesday morning, with the thir thir five-year and the 30-year bond uh, flipping at the, after they flipped at the start of the week. Um, this is as the, the five-year Treasury note is 2.51, and the 10-year Treasury note 2.415. I can't even read that. 2.415. Five, you know, folks. When I was doing the ten-year Treasury note, what was it a month ago? It was one eight, one seven. It's two point four one five in about a month. I mean, this is this is very scary. Here's what you also need to know: the yield curve, your yield curve inversion. When you look at the third, the five-year Treasury note versus the thirty-year Treasury note, a note which is shorter in time, five years, should have a smaller rate than a longer note. Like, let's say you go buy a CD and you put it in the bank. If it has a long duration, let's say thirty years, you get a higher rate, interest rate on it, obviously. Then if you buy something that's only six months out, obviously. Well, not obviously. What happened this week was the inversion. This is called the year curve, yield curve inversion. When the five-year note suddenly has a higher interest rate than the 30-year note, that's not supposed to happen. The last time it happened was 2006, and it went into recession. So a series of reporters, analysts are all over the place saying, I'm not worried about the yield curve inversion. It does not mean a recession. Um, and the comment came today by Antoine Bouvoir, who's at ING. I don't think it causes, I don't think it means, um, I don't think it means re recession. But it's showing, it shows the economy is slowing down. There's something that is on investors' mind. <laughs> my, tra my part of the takeaway is it does set a recession. Why? You can't look at this yield curve inversion in just sort of a, a deers and headlock, as, as just a horse and a horse race with, this, with the guiders on. There's too many bad economic data coming off. We see the growth of the economy shrinking, 7.9% a miss. We now see the inversion. We now see what's coming up in just a second. The foreign banks talking about recession as well. If everyone's talking about recession and the inversion curve is happening, <laughs> yeah, we're worried about recession. And the recession would be two years. It wouldn't be one year. It would be next year and the year after that. Wow, there's a lot coming up. But in the second half of this video, we have even more. We got some great news. We have lots of checks. If you knew this channel, what is this channel? This is America's most watched financial news channel in prime time evening to LA. And what I do is I take all the geopolitical news domestically, internationally, explain it to you, and then explain you to you how to get the checks that are available from it. So it's important you learn things on this channel, like what a yield curve inversion is, because if you see it, then you should turn to your neighbor and say, you know, we're heading into recession next year. Recession, what does this mean for you? It means the following for your want money. Let me explain it to you. And that is then what I turn to and pivot and show you how to get money off of that. How to get your money right now before the situation turns to the negative. I have all the incredible details coming up the second half of this video. And a preview of tonight's Evening Delight. Plus, a big set special surprise later in this video. All right, let's turn to first what's coming up in the second half of this video. We're going to go over those four stimulus checks, which have now landed. $80,000 checks. Yes. They're law. Yes. They've been sent out. Yes. Viewers have got them. Yes. You can get them as well. Nationwide, absolutely. It's in addition to the Build Back Better Act. Then we're going to turn to those third stimulus MSC checks. They're in addition to the checks you've already gotten. Yes. They're huge. They're coming up in the second half of this video. Then we'll turn to six stimulus. Wow. This is the big biggest stimulus package you've ever seen in a generation. It's in April. Then we'll be looking at that student loan debt forgiveness. That's in May. We got a big second half of this video, plus a preview of Evening's LA tonight at prime time. It's a big show from March 30th, 2021 tonight, 2022 tonight. And then I got a special surprise for you in the second half of this video. But first, here's a little bit about the community page for members. If you need assistance on any of the subjects covered in today's video, reach out to the members community page. And first, here is them, and I'll be back in 60 seconds with the big second half of today's afternoon's broadcast.
If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. It's a big second half of this big afternoon's LA broadcast for March 30th, 2022. In the second half of this video, we have those big checks. Fourth stimulus, $80,000 checks. And third stimulus, MSC checks. Huge sums of money. Plus, we'll be looking at the situation for that sixth stimulus heating up. Shocking savings coming from Europe, and it impacts the mortgage industry as well. Then we'll be looking at that student loan debt forgiveness coming up and seven stimulus. Wow, we got a big second half. I'm excited you're here, but first become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Let's go over all the incredible details starting right now. Build a Back a Better Act, the fourth stimulus we got. Currently in the Senate, not law, but that is done by Congress. The president has the ability to do his own laws in the executive branch. And he did one five weeks ago, this coming Friday. As soon as he did it, it was buried in broadcast media. It was buried, it was buried in the news. It was not covered in broadcast media, not covered in print media, not covered anywhere except here, America's Most Watched Show for Financial News in Prime Time. And I immediately featured it for the members of this channel. It's been live now for five weeks. Why do I keep on mentioning the five weeks? Because it will run out of money. Let's go over the incredible items at issue. The president five weeks ago made this law. And then three days later, that following Monday, it went live. And since then, the viewers of this channel have gotten the checks. The checks are fifteen dollars to $80,000 fourth stimulus checks. Let's go over all the incredible details of it right now. If you're a member, congratulations. If you're not, become a member right now. First, what is this called? It's called the Homeowners Grant. Number two, is this for stimulus? It is. Is this done by the president? It is. Is this done with Congress? It is not. Is it law? It is. Was it sent out? They have been sent out. Can you still get it? Absolutely, you can still get it. Let's go over all the incredible details. The income qualification is the same as a stimulus check. $75,000 or less, you can get it, single individual. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it as well. Now, it's per household, fifteen dollars to $80,000. So you don't double it, triple it, or quadruple it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, you can get as well. The last remaining eligibility criterion is you own a home. Now, if you don't own a home but you rent, get ready because I got money for you. Big sums of money coming up right after this. So how do you get this incredible money, this homeowner's grant? You become a member. Go to the top of the chat or under the pinned comment and click the link to become a member. Become a member of this channel and get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, sent out via the YouTube alert system. In that membership newsletter, first lines are about the oil and wheat and grain prices today. And then right under there is the complete name of the program. It's longer than the homeowner's grant. Number two, goes over the income qualifications. Number three, it goes over what you can get that money for, like home repairs. Wow, incredible. Then it gives you the link to apply. Yes, it's an online link. You go right into the national website, which then routes you to the state local website it's first come first serve so it's been five weeks now this coming friday so thousands of people in your state every day are getting in front of you 
And what's important is to understand you cannot wait. You need to become a member today. You need to get that application on file today and get that application in. In the case of New York, one of the only states, the applications are now closed at, 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 at wait list because they had such a big surge. But that is only there. It's offered nationwide. You need to get that application in right away. So go into that top of that chat or under the pinned description of the video, become a member. The newsletter comes via the YouTube alert system, not by email, not by wave old check, not by lobster dance. <laughs> it comes 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. That's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you're a renter, or if you're also a homeowner, I got you MSC checks from Third Stimulus. Third Stimulus was passed last year in January 2021, and it sent out a $14 stimulus check. You may have gotten it. But did you know that viewers have now come back and gotten, in addition to that, Third Stimulus, not Fourth, Third Stimulus MSC checks. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. So let's go over all the details of this. This is Third Stimulus. This is not fourth, it's third. It's from last year. And this is absolutely huge. What are you getting this money for? Rent assistance, utility assistance, mortgage assistance. Yes, it's for renters and homeowners. So where do you get the money? You reach out to six places featured in this video. The six places are also featured in the newsletter. Now, if you're a member, you have 15, well, 12, 12 to 15 places to reach out to. Things to remember are that you're going to get about 50% rejection rate. So if you reach out to one and they say no, you need to push across the board. You need to get it, you need to reach out to at least six places. In the case of members, you should be reaching out to all 12 or 15 places. You need to say the keywords, rent assistance, utility assistance, mortgage assistance because of COVID. Don't say MSC. And then you need to get these big sums of money. How much of viewers are getting? They're getting astronomical sums of money. I featured all the success stories. If you have a new success story, send to me on private message on social media. The success stories show that the viewers are getting an average $2,000 a month for 12 months. And these aren't viewers who are on beneficiaries. I had one viewer who was on SSI getting $60,000. I had viewers getting $150,000 in the last two, in the last 10 days. I've had viewers getting over $100,000. I have viewers who have gotten this money before and got went back and get more sums of money across the land. It's huge. So get those big sums of money. Now, what is also happening that is really, really shocking. What is also happening is that six stimulus is really a getting very uh, heated. <laughs> I guess that's a polite way to say it. Six stimulus is the largest stimulus package of a generation. You may have thought first stimulus from March 2020 was, oh no, this is supposed to be the biggest. But it's getting a little confusing. Let me tell you what's going on with this. What is six stimulus? Six stimulus is Putin cost stimulus. It's basically the concept that started day a week two of the Vladimir Putin invasion of Ukraine. Anthony Blinken, your Secretary of State, reached out to Germany and France, said, you need to get off those Russian products. It's a moral obligation. They said, we can't. We have too much economic dependency on Russian products. You know, some of our gasoline is you know, at least 40% more. He said, you have moral obligation. He said, they said, you're right. So they said, we'll get off of the products and we will debt spend and we'll provide stimulus to our citizens. So let me tell you what's going on today. It's very, very confusing. And I want you to understand that do not try to sum su uh, summarize it because it, it may make yourself more confused. I tried to do it as well. It, it made it too confused. We were told by Germany and France that first week of the invasion that they are getting off the Russian products. Today, which is March 30th, 2022, which is now month two of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we have the Germans sort of pivoting, saying, uh, "We cannot get off of the Russian products because we're going to go into an economy. We're going to go into recession." Uh, wait a second, what's going on here? So Wednesday, the Germany's economic minister Robert Habak triggered the, the first of three warnings of possible gas stockpilage. And then a European Central Bank, which is not Germany, that's EU, Christine Lagarde said that there's significant pose on growth. Let's go over the each details of each of them. First, Germany's Council of Economic a Experts today said the high dependency on Russian energy supplies considers risk of a lower economic growth and even recession and higher inflation rates. So he's saying if we get off of the Russian products in Germany, we're going to have recession and also we're going to have inflation rates higher. Well, that's the concept of six stimulus. I mean, we already know that. What are you going to do? Stay on those Russian products? We already discussed that. Uh, would said Bl Blinken would have said if he's in this, if he was watching the show. We already discussed this. We know that, and that's what you're going to debt spend. Then let's look at Germany Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who's a progressive who 
who anchored this deal with Joe Biden and Macron. He said that getting off of Russian energy would send his economy into recession. Okay, uh, that's contradictory. <laughs> that's contradictory. Because you said it the first time, Blinken Mac with you, and said, no, I'm not going to do it. Then you said, we have a moral obligation. We will get off of it. Now you're changing, saying, no, you won't get off of it. What is the data? Germany imports 60% of its gas from Russia, and then EU countries import 86% of them. Vladimir Putin has put in March 31, okay, as if this was any more complicated. Vladimir Putin has put a March 31st deadline, which is tomorrow, uh, to demand his payment for natural gas from these EU countries to be paid in rubles, his currency, not to pay it in their currency. Those countries, like Germany, says that's a breach contract. We're not paying you in rubles. We're going to pay you in what the contract says, euros, euro, or, or dollars. And uh, so... <laughs> What is going on here, folks? Let me translate it for you, because I'm having a little problems translate as well. First, the issue at hand is that the President of the United States met overseas with those EU countries and got a major deal to get all those EU countries off of natural gas and to be have it from Germany, from Russia, and have it provided by the United States. Yes, we detailed that big deal. And the EU president applauded the deal. So why uh, two days later are they complaining about the deal? I don't understand this. <laughs> then we had a week ago, the president of the United States getting that deal with Iran that was negotiated by Germany to get off of, to get off of any dependency of Russian oil, petroleum oil for your gas pump for your car, by getting that oil from Iran, remember? And Germany negotiated the deal. So why is Germany complaining? <laughs> Iranian oil of half a million barrels would be flowing to every U uh, into the world economies by April, May. That's, you know, what, two days away. Uh, and, and, and growing to 1.5 million barrels by the end of the year. That's number one. Then we have the LNG, the natural gas being provided by the United States. That's been solved, number two. So <laughs> where are these comments coming from for Germany? Are they time delay comments? I don't understand them. Translation, I think it may be just partisanship. It, it smells sort of like local country partisanship. It doesn't smell like this is logically thought out because we already got this deal. We already got this deal. Am I worried about six months? I am not. Am I confused by these comments? I am, but I got to give you the details. Remember, we do have a deal on LNG. The president did that deal four, four days ago. The EU uh, the uh, head of the EU came out and applauded the deal because they're getting the LNG from us. Natural gas. LNG is natural gas. Then the president did the deal for gasoline with Iran and Germany negotiated the deal. So why is Germany saying there's no gasoline? I just, I don't know. It's very, very I think it's partisanship and I think it's, uh, I think it's saber rattling. Saber rat rattling. Not rabbling. <laughs> rabbling. Rabbiting. Saber rabbiting. Yeah. <laughs> the rabbits with sabers. There you go. The price of oil continues to surge out of control, so maybe they're thinking of the same thing. I'm not thinking. Rush uh, oil continues to surge. It was, it was 122 on March 27th. Very, very problematic across the board. Let me go over to seven stimulus for just a blink of an eye before I come back to more about what's going on with the six stimulus, because this is very important. Seven stimulus is that student loan debt forgiveness, and it's huge. It has a May 2nd deadline. Not a deadline I set. The president set this deadline. When COVID hit, the presidencies agreed that your repayment student loan debt would be frozen. You have to pay any until May 2nd, 2022, and then you'd have to start repaying that day. So the president, Chief of Staff, who's Juan Klan, said in an interview just about less than four days ago that the president will decide the fate of student loan debt forgiveness by May 2nd, or <laughs> he's going to extend the moratorium. So he's either going to extend when you can have to repay the debts, meaning you don't have to repay them on May 2nd, or he's going to forgive it. There's a lot of breaking data on that. It came in around the 28th, 29th of March, where Obama's education secretary says, of course the president can forgive student loan debt. Let me give you the collective situation right now. That big guy, very important guy, uh, education secretary under the Obama-Biden administration said, of course Biden knows he can forgive student loan debt. We put that in place during his tenure when he was vice president. Number two, a lot of analysts and Liz Warren and Chuck Schumer are reminding Joe Biden of this. A lot of new analysts in the last five days say, if Biden forgives, let's say, $50,000 of student loan debt, what happens? 
Well, if anyone's unhappy with it, Republicans, what do they have to do? They have to go back to Congress and try to call a vote to undo it, and they don't have enough votes to pass an undoing of student loan debt forgiveness. So Joe should just go do it, and there you go. We are ready to rock and roll. Wow. Now let's turn back to that six stimulus. Six stimulus is very, very important. Six stimulus is heating up in April, and six stimulus would be to solve wheat, grain, oil, the banking industry, and more. Let's go over all the details of it. Six stimulus is Putin called stimulus. Putin, even if he had a ceasefire of the war, you know, by the time you watch this video this afternoon, you'd still need six stimulus because guess what? He is sending our economies into recession. In fact, our sanctionings of Putin are sending him in, are sending us in recession. Number one, because the Russian oil is not available, then the oil price is going up. When there's less of a product, the products go up. And so oil prices are surging out of control. They will not come down unless we flood the market with oil. And flooding the market with oil from Texas is not enough oil. We need international flooding the market. And that is why that Iranian deal is so important. You need a million barrels, half a million barrels, day after day, week after week to get that price down. And I've been telling you since day one of the invasion, folks, you can't do $4 of gasoline at the pump, which is the national average, according to AAA, feature in the membership newsletter. Are you a member? Go to the top of the chat and become a member right now. That number is unsustainable. If it goes into May, that number $4 for gasoline, national average, we go to recession, number one. Number two, the price of wheat, grain, soybeans, unsustainable. If your price of breads remains at $4, $5, $6 a loaf nationwide, unsustainable, we go into recession. Number three, we're going to start to see Russian defaults. And that Russian default for April 4th of that $2 billion principal repayment, which I'm predicting would send everyone into ter terror. And I'll also potentially send our U.S. banking industry into meltdown. Maybe if they have big exposure to Russian debt and equities. We don't know because they haven't told us across the board. And we're just at the cusp of all these issues. And that is why you tune into this channel. With that, I have a special surprise for you now in the second half of this video. I'm glad you stayed to the very end. Last night, we tested out again for the first, second time in almost maybe a year, another show. And that show was an overnight live feed of the Allied News. If you tune into the major three broadcasters in the United States, not financial news, but major three, they have a live feed running 24-7. And if you watch, which I hope you don't, the number two most watched financial news channel in America, they have a live, over feed, live feed overnight for financial news. And so we tried it last night. And boy, folks, it was a blockbuster. It replaced the crypto overnight show the live feed of that, and this live feed on Financial News, Your Money, which is a one-hour broadcast uh, that goes uh, live out, was really well-received. Lots of brand new members that came in, massive viewership numbers, so you really liked it. So we're going to figure out how to bring it to this channel on a regular basis. It's a live overnight show, so if an event that you miss, let's see, afternoons or evenings in LA, it gives you the biggest news of the day in a live feed. So let's say you come back um, from the casino <laughs> at midnight and you're like, I, what I missed today? You can watch that live feed and it gives you all the updated details. That's the first breaking news. That I'm, That's the first great news I want to deliver to you. Second great news is I want to deliver to you is I'm, I'm so excited for the viewers of this channel who have done so well. There are thousands of new members. There are thousands of people who are getting big sums of money. And I'm so excited for you across the board. In a given day, we have to deal with so much. And when we come together as a family and we educate ourselves, we take it to another level. This channel approaches its two-year anniversary on April 22nd, 2022. And 25th, 2022. And where are we going? Where are we going? We are going to a new horizon where we as a community are learning what a yield curve inversion is and why that explains to us why we might be going into, into recession and how we prepare in our household financially to be prepared for two years of recession if you've never gone through a recession before to explain to you what a recession is. And then with all that major geopolitical economic news, then to show you how to get the big money that's available right now. It's important that you learn all this and you've done it so well. Over the last year and a half, you've learned so much from this channel and I'm bringing your educational level to another level bringing you the bigger data, the mortgage industry, the housing industry, the geopolitical news, the yield curve inversion, the 10-year treasury note, all those things. Because if you can see it, 
then you can understand it. And if you can understand it, you can prepare for what the financial future has for you. People who educate themselves excel. People who educate themselves are ahead of the game. If you can see the recession and know the recession is coming forward before anyone else in your block, then you're ahead on information. And guess what? People who have the information finish first. People who learn the information finish first. People who take the information and apply it finish first. People who get the money that's available from the information finish first. And here we're finishing first. Join me next on Evening's Ally for a special one-hour broadcast in prime time. Boy, folks, we have a big broadcast tonight for March 30th, 2022. We have those jobs numbers and the mortgage numbers that impact the bill back better in prime time. We have the latest details on that and latest CR from the President of the United States. We have the 10-year bond. Why the 10-year Treasury note? Those bond traders are a very good indicator of whether inflation is maybe hotter than 8%, maybe it's 9% right now, and what that yield curve inversion means for for also the recessionary concerns and what this all means for your SS300. We'll be looking at those $80,000 of checks that viewers are getting now from fourth stimulus and those big MSE checks from third stimulus. We'll be looking at that sixth stimulus confusion detail in tonight's, today's recording. Was Christine Lagarde off point when she said that there's new risk for growth and what is the chancellor doing with that six stimulus? We'll be looking at that seven stimulus, the student loan debt forgiveness. And then we'll be looking at everything else you need to know across the board. It's a big broadcast. It's a one hour show in prime time. It's five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time in prime time. Watch it. I don't want you to miss me. I will be in the live chat. If you've not become a member, go to the top of the chat and become a member. And with that, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon. Thank you for becoming part of this incredible family. Thank you for becoming a brand new member. Stay informed, stay focused. See you tonight on Evenings LA. It's a big show. And stay with LA for more.